Gav Gav MC. Let's go five mm-hmm. likes. I guess it's quite popular. Can you enter people's dreams whilst astral projection? Astral projection. I got that one as well. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I can. I have. And I'll tell you I'll tell you one short story. I tried it with my ex. <laughs> A while ago, uh, which ex? That was a, uh, yeah, that was a while ago. I think that was when I was mm, coming up to nineteen, so you know, eighteen, couple of months, my birthday, and I hadn't seen her in a while, and I wanted to see if I could do it. I started looking into vampires, and I think Vampire Diaries was pretty, you know, hmm. it's all over the the web, Netflix watch series online, you know, those websites where you can watch whatever you like, and it was all over TV, Sky, Virgin. So, that kind of sprung the idea that maybe I can project myself into someone else's dreams. Mm-hmm. And then I started to think about the times that it's actually happened to me within the past, and it has happened a few times within the past, and I thought, okay, if they can do it in their astral projection as their beings, entity or otherwise, you know, human, just mm-hmm. projecting into my mind, why can't I do it to other people? So I started doing it. I started encountering the body of somebody who's been asleep, or who is sleeping, and whilst mm-hmm. they're sleeping, I could feel their mind. It was so strange. You know when you can feel someone watching you? But when people yeah. sleep, it's like they, they generate this cloud around them. You can mm-hmm. really feel it. And when you're in the astral form and you're standing next to them and they're dreaming, you can feel it on steroids. Yeah. So what I did was I just kind of tuned into that. And the same way that I teleport from one location to the other when I actually project, I just did the exact same thing with the feeling and used that as like a reference point. as like a sat-nav. And it, I was just right there. I lost all awareness of where I was, but I was still conscious. And then next thing I know is my scenery starts to develop and I'm outside her house in her dream realm and I can see her in the mirror up in her bedroom. And I'm thinking, okay, now I just need to get to her. Okay, but before I get to her, I look at her in the mirror and I can feel her consciousness still. You know, I can feel her reality that she's created as one layer of her consciousness. I can feel it. It was the same frequency that it was when I was in 3D hovering over her body. Mm-hmm. But now once I'm inside her dream, I'm looking at her in the window and she's giving off a different frequency. It's more unconscious. She is completely unaware she's dreaming. So I go to open the door and I open it. Think, oh, this is going to be easy. I open it. <laughs> nope. There's another door there. Oh. Open that. There's another door there. Open that. Another door there. Open that. A brick wall. You know, this thing was solid. And what this was, it was, it was the layers of consciousness that she had already constructed which prevents other people from getting in. Most people have this, so it stops other people like me walking into your dreams. But this isn't always the case, because mm-hmm. another girl that I had previously seen, along when I was in school, like childhood, I wanted to see what she was doing nowadays. I actually projected again, went to her house, opened her door, there was no repetitive door system in place, no subconscious mm-hmm. barriers, no blockages. I went straight upstairs, knocked on her door, and there she was. Here's the thing. She was slightly lucid. She was slightly aware that something was off. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was so cool. cool. Yeah, that was cool. I had a chat with her, sat on the bed. And um, I, I could feel her energy. She was slowly waking up. And that was interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, for, someone to be, for you to be in someone's dream while they're waking up. That's... Yeah, becoming lucid. You know? So did she remember it after you... Uh, I'm not sure. If she did, she didn't think of it as, like... Yeah. You know. She just thought of it as a regular dream. Yeah. Otherwise, she would have jumped onto her phone, and that has happened mm-hmm. also with other people. And they started texting me. But yeah, that's my experience with dreams. Yeah, you can do walk-ins. That's what they're called. Mm-hmm. But you can walk into someone else's dreams. But what about you? Have you experienced anything like that? Uh, accidentally. I, uh, when, like I mentioned in the last video, I, I feel like you're a little more advanced than I, since, you know, you've been kind of you know, brought up in this, well, not brought up, but it's kind of like naturally, you know, been with you since you were young versus, you know, I kind of, you know, picked up the ability, but um, I'm, I'm not quite that advanced to where I can, like, consciously choose to enter someone's dream, but I had, I had the experience where a friend of mine, uh, 
he, he came over, you know, we, we were gym partners and stuff. He was into lucid dreaming and astral projection. We had meditation sessions. Good friend of mine. And um, I was, you know, later on that night, you know, he, he crashed on the couch and I slept in uh, my room. And I had a dream later on that night, um, a lucid dream. I never made a video on this. I, I don't know why I had it, but I had a lucid dream. Whereas I was in this park area and he kind of just comes strolling up. And I'm aware that I'm in a dream, and I ask him, hey, do you know we're in a dream right now? And he had no idea that we were in a dream. I'm like, yo, you're in the other room, man. You're in the other room for you, right? He's like, no, I'm not. He's like, yes, you are, man. Think about it. And, and then he began to ponder, and then I saw the light go off in his eyes. He was like, <laughs> he, he was like I am. What? But I'm so upset because I, 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 brought, I brought it up to him the next day. And he, you know, didn't remember what I was talking about. But in the dream, it seemed like he was responsive. He was there. It was him. It was his presence, his energy. And uh, he didn't remember it. But it was so much fun. I mean, you know, flying around and adventuring in the dream world together, you know. So um, that was a cool experience, but not not quite like yours. <laughs> so that's, that's probably my closest thing that I could, uh, you know, remember yeah. that would come close to that, but. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then, I guess you have somebody who does wake. That's the only problem. Same with astral projection. You try to pull someone out of their body. If they're not able to do it anyway, odds are they're going to be unconscious when you pull them out. So they'll be like mm -hmm. a vegetable and they'll just be like. And you just mm -hmm. have to do this front of their face and they just. They just don't do it's, anything. It's, it's like it's a, there's a level of mindfulness that you just have to build. Like, regardless of your ability to actually project or not, you know, in real life, just a general level of consciousness, mindfulness that you need to have to do it, you know? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, let's find another one. Okay, this one has 17 likes, so I'm, we answered in the last... <laughs> we answered in the last video, but we can answer it again. Um,